champagnes bubbling in the back, sitting on ice. But we have a Ooh, praise man. in our hearts tonight, and we will be getting the opportunity to share that praise and to let that praise out. And so as we get started, praise the Lord Jesus. We're just going to go ahead into some praise and worship. And I believe we have some pre-recording to play in your hearing tonight while you get your minds and your heart in the frame of worship. So if you don't mind, Pastor Grange, to cue those up for me and get those going. Don't be afraid to clap your hands, lift your hands, sing along and just worship. Praise the Lord.
grace. If you know me, it's your strength today. If you know me, it's your peace today. If you know me, it's your sustainer, your protector, your provider, your healer, your deliverer. Lift your hands and give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah! 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 We want to thank you, Jesus. Come on, all over everybody, give God some praise. If you want to interject, Dylan Smith, you can do that. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we give God a praise? Can we give God a praise? Let's see up the next song here. Come on, all over, lift your hands and give God a praise. He is hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God, hallelujah. 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 They have another rendition coming up, and it's called I Can't Even Walk. It's been an incredible year, but let us just reflect over the year of what God has done. And let's continue to praise. Open up your mics, amen. Open up your cameras, and let's just see each other praising and blessing the Lord tonight. Amen. Uh, Evangelist Smith, anything you want to add, sir? Hallelujah. You're the moderator. Praise the Lord. Excited. Just <laughs> uh, just go ahead, sir. Go ahead and, and, and play the next track. And please, it's all well and good to to type in the chat and to put up the emojis and the emoji kinds or whatever those are, but it's even better if you lift your hands, if you open your mic and if you shout a praise, God has speared us through 2021, mm. through all the turmoils, through all the sicknesses, through all the disease, the viruses, the pandemics, the epidemics. It's okay for you to open your mic. Nobody's going to shut you off tonight. Just lift glory, your hands glory, and glory. Your Hallelujah. Spirit, the anointing. Just Hallelujah. go ahead and worship Thank God. You, this is what we're here for. Glory I'm sure God. everyone Hallelujah. in the sanctuary tonight, a lot yes. of us will be running down the aisles. A lot of yes. us will be standing yes. up and yes. singing yes. and shouting. It's the same thing. We're having church. Glory we might God. be in our living rooms. We might be in our offices. But we God. might be in our bedrooms. Wherever in the house we may be, we still have liberty to yes. praise God. We still have praise liberty God. to worship God. God. Don't let anybody Been stop you. God. Don't Hallelujah. let anybody hinder your praise tonight. While the song is being played, if you feel like worshiping, go ahead and worship. Brother Smith will not stop you. I don't know what you have been through to 2021. So nobody can praise God like you can. <laughs> praise the Lord Jesus. So if you feel the anointing, if you feel like worshiping, go ahead and throw your hands in the air. Go ahead and open your mics and shout a praise unto God. Hallelujah. Nobody will stop you. You're in your own home. Go yes. ahead. Praise the Lord yes. Jesus. Screw that next one, Pastor Grange. Praise yes. the Lord Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Can't even walk.
celebration i give honor to god who is the divine head of my life greetings to pastor grange and all the elders and ministers and just about everyone in the all-powerful name of jesus christ if we were in the sanctuary that would have been the formal greeting but we are on zoom tonight so i do want to call out all the 40 people that is online i want you to know that you are special tonight Amen. And we are happy to have you on Zoom worshiping with us. So we have JT. I'm not sure who that is. Uh, we have Pastor Michael Grange. We have BUC Host. We have Elder Walters. We have Amen. the Noels. We have yes. Elder Bonito Grange. We have Amen. Sister Valerie. We have Sister Sonia. We have Initial AB. We have Missionary Andrea Edwards. Yes, I'm calling you out tonight. Uh, oh, <laughs> Sister Angie Spencer, Elder Anthony Scott. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. We have Auntie B in house tonight. Uh, praise the Lord Jesus. We have uh, Initial BD and we have Sister Cheryl. We have somebody that has uh, D home beside their, their name. Whoever you are, we greet you in your home tonight. We have Brother Dennis. Oh, Lord, we have Sister Alicia Grange. We have Sister Grant. We have Sister Gabrielle Daniel. We have whoever is behind, Galaxy S5, Neo. We have HQ. We have Jada. Oh, 
Oh, praise the yes, Lord. We have James Barham. Good to oh. see you, James. I haven't seen you in a while. We have <laughs> Kiana. We have Sister Latoya. We have <laughs> LG, Brother Neil, Sister William, Sister Samantha, Sister Simone. We have the Simpsons online. Bishop, we greet you tonight. Amen. In Jesus' name, we have Sister Rob all the way from Winnipeg worshiping with us tonight. Good to have you online. Praise the Lord. And of course, my family is upstairs. They don't want to distract me, so I'm downstairs. So greetings to my family upstairs. We have Brother Bonnick, the Bonnick, Brother and Sister Bonnick, and we have the Douglases that are there with them. Greet you tonight in Jesus' name. We have the Hyatts. Oh, yes, they're with us tonight. They're here. They're in the house. We have the Cushies. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. Sister Tracy and Sister Vanessa. I don't know who has a smiley face up, but you're smiling. So I greet you in the all-powerful name of Jesus. We have a phone line. Phone lines on tonight. There's one that seems it's from uh, maybe Toronto, whoever is behind. Uh, 647-986-9895. We greet you. We have two Edmonton numbers, 780-481-8733. We greet you in Jesus' name. We have 780-487-2214. Yes, we greet you tonight in Jesus' name. And Sister Grace Watkins, we greet you tonight in Jesus' name. So all 43 persons that is on Zoom and all 18 persons that is on YouTube tonight. I didn't get the count of how much is on Facebook, but wherever you are, whichever platform, whichever social network you're on tonight, we greet you, we welcome you in the all-powerful name of Jesus Christ. We're happy to have to worship, but you're in your own home. So I don't need to tell you that you're free to do whatever you want to do. You're paying your own rent. You're paying your own mortgage. You can kick down whatever table you want to kick down, throw whatever chair you want to throw away. It's, it's all you. Just go ahead and worship God however you want to worship God. Be free tonight. We are giving God thanks for sparing our life through a full year, 2021. My God, think about all the challenges that you have been through all the jobs that people have lost, all the income that people have lost. But at the end of the day, we still have life. And my grandmother used to tell me, as long as there is life, there is hope. And so if we're online tonight, we should be full of hope. We should be hopeful of what the new year 2022 will bring us. Praise the Lord Jesus. So let me just share the sentiments of Pastor Grange if you're online. And if you're able to turn your cameras on, please go ahead and do so. Praise the Lord Jesus. We have been planning this for weeks upon weeks. We know we were going to be here. So if you're here, go ahead, turn your cameras on. If you need to run and put a nice shirt on, whatever it is, come as you are. Just don't show up naked. Praise the Lord Jesus. We want to focus and worship God tonight. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. So we're going we're gonna to worship. We're going to move right along. Praise the Lord Jesus. So I'm just going to sing this prayer chorus, and after which we're just going to come in and we're going to pray together. Yes, everybody that is online, if all you know how to say is thank you, Jesus, open your mic and say thank you, Jesus. But we are all going to pray tonight. We're going to have a con congregational prayer to kick this off. And so we just want to sing this song. Lord. Whatever you're doing this season, don't do it without me. Come on, where are my singers? Don't do it without me. Sister Jessica, I see you. Lord, whatever you're doing this season, don't do it without me. Can that be our prayer for 2022? Please don't do it without me. One more time. Lord, whatever you're doing this season, don't do it without me. Please don't do it without me. 
Hallelujah. Can we just pray at this time? Father, we thank you, God. We praise you, mighty God. We thank you for your goodness. We thank you, mighty God, for your love. We thank you, mighty God, for your love. Thank you, God, that you, God, saw it fit. Give us the opportunity tonight where we can fellowship. I pray whatever you're doing, I pray the Lord the Lord 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. We're going to be reading for our nights. Our night is scripture tonight. We may block you. Jesus name. Praise the Lord. We're going to be reading for our night scripture tonight. Psalm 91 from verse 1 to verse 16. And this is how we're going to do it tonight. We, I need 16 mics open. And each of us, I'll read the first verse. And then another person will read the next verse. And we're going to read all 16. Well, 15. And then everybody together would read the 16th, the 16th verse. So Psalm 91. I'll give you opportunity to find it and just go ahead. I need at least 15 persons just to open your mic and read at least one verse. We're here together. Praise the Lord Jesus. I'll give you time to find it and then open your mic. Psalm 91 is on your screen. If you don't have a Bible handy, just look on your screen. If you are sitting in front of a phone, a desktop, or a laptop, it should be up on your screen. Go ahead and open your mics. I've got a roof up above me. 
I'm not a singer, but you gave me a love, Lord, and a beautiful, fine family. Thank you, Lord, for your blessing on me. Anybody want to give God thanks tonight? I've got a roof up above me. And a fine place, a fine place to sleep. I put food on my table and shoes on my feet. You gave me love, unconditional love, and a fine place. This is how we're going to read. I'm going to start. So listen closely. I'm going to start. Then Elder Walters is going to go. And then somebody from the Noel's house, verse 3, Sister Angie, verse 4, Sister Cheryl, verse 5, uh, whoever is this behind Galaxy X5, verse 6, Sister Simone, verse 7, Sister Valerie, verse 8, Sister Tracy Ann, verse 9, Sister Vanessa, verse 10. Those are the mics I see opening, and then I'll read 11, and then we go again. So I will begin Psalm 91. Oh, I do see. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, Elder Walters. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. Praise the Lord, Galaxy S5. God in him will I trust, sir. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snares of the fowler. Amen. Keep it going. And from. Excellent. Oh. And from the noisome pestilence. Sorry. Praise the Lord. Verse 4. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shall thou trust. His fruit shall be thy shield and buckler. Praise the Lord. 5. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the hot arrow that flyeth by day. Six. Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. A thousand, a thousand shall a fall thousand at thy side, side and ten thousand, thousand at thy right, right hand, hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Lovely, lovely, keep it going. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Amen, nine. Because thou was made the Lord, which because I was made the Lord, which is my refuge. Continue. You're not finished. Even the most high thy habitation. 
Amen. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Amen. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all thy ways. Amen. Elder Walters again. Did we lose him? Well. Sister Angie, go ahead. Verse 12. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Amen. Sister Tracy, verse 13. Thou shalt thread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample on the feet. This is Cheryl, verse 14. Because he had set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he had known my name. Sister Simone, verse 15 again. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. And we'll read 16 together with, with long, long life, 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 life satisfying and, and show him my salvation. Praise Amen. the Lord. This is the word of God. We give God thanks tonight. Thank you so much for opening your mic and reading the word of God. That was nice hearing. Praise the Lord. Young Sister Simone, I, I, I forgot her first name. Sister, Sister Simone, what's, are you still there? Praise the Lord. Anyway, it was nice to hear both okay. Sister Simone and her daughter reading that scripture. That was nice to hear. Praise the Lord Jesus. Thank you so much. Sister Sane. Yes, Sister Sane. It's good to hear you. Glad to have you on tonight. And all the young people that is on tonight, we greet you all in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. Uh, uh, Elder Pastor Green, sorry if you can just queue up uh, that song for me. I, I forgot which one I had told you earlier. Praise the Lord. The angels cry holy. We're going to hear that song. Praise the Lord. The angels cry holy. And brethren, I can't stress enough. We're here to worship. I know we're happy to see faces and we're happy to see people online that we've not seen in a long time, but we're here to worship. Yeah. We're here to say thank you, Lord, for sparing our lives to another year. And as we look forward to the year that is coming, we're here to say, God, we're giving our lives to you. We're giving our all to you. We're, we're, we're putting everything to you for you to lead us, guide us, and protect us. That's what the purpose is tonight. So don't be afraid of the faces of the few cameras that might be open. Um, you know, we this is the only time we see each other without a mask, and so we're still getting used to seeing faces again. But we are still here to worship God. Amen? I know it's been a long time since you have seen my ugly mug because I've always had a mask on, but don't mind Brother Smith's face. We're just here to worship God. The focus is on God tonight. So here we go. The angels cry, holy, just worship the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hey, feel the temple, he was high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple, he was high and lifted up. 
Hallelujah. Even if they're pre recorded, yeah. it sounds like you're in the church. Praise the Lord. And if we were at church tonight, I'm sure Pastor Grange would allow us to have a praise break and, and run around the sanctuary. He's a man of worship, he loves worship. So I'm sure we would have been running around the church tonight and, and just worship God. But we're sitting in our house and we're sitting in front of a computer screen like we're watching TV. We're at liberty to worship God tonight. Praise the Lord Jesus. You can't just sit down. Hallelujah. Worthy. Hallelujah. Of all the praise. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If I continue tonight, we won't be able to get the preacher on. And we do have some testimonies coming. Praise the Lord Jesus, and we want to pray in the new year. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Pastor has the phrase that he's living on his knees, and so prayer is a good way to welcome in the new year. Praise the Lord, and so we want to get these testimonies in tonight, but before we do, praise the Lord Jesus, we have a very hard-working leadership team Hallelujah, that cares about us, that looks out for us, and they're working behind the scene tirelessly. And so I could not continue tonight without allowing them, praise the Lord, to greet this platform. Praise the Lord. You have heard from Pastor Grange at the beginning, and he will be closing off. Praise the Lord. So I hope he doesn't mind me overlooking at this time. So I'm going to ask Elder Walters to come in and give his greetings. Followed by Elder Scott, praise the Lord, followed by Elder Bonito Grange, just to give their greeting, greet this platform, and just give God a praise. Praise the Lord Jesus. God bless you. Thank you, um, Reverend Smith. Greetings to everyone in line tonight, Bishop Simpson, and to Pastor Grimes, and to every one of the uh, uh, officers and brethren friends greeting god is good hallelujah well i've been in about this may be my fourth service now amen welcome in england and i go to toronto and amen so forth god is good god is good 
greetings to you all. What a what a year we had. Praise God. I want to thank God for keeping cares. Bless God for my wife, my children, grandchildren over the Christmas. I had amen. Kevin and his sons were with us, and we just had a good time. And the rest of family, Charmaine, etc. Amen. And other relatives, well, we were together. We just thank God. We thank God, even though we are going through this COVID and every day it sounds worse and worse, but we just bless the Lord that we are here, we are alive, we are doing well, and we just want to give God glory. I want to thank God for the leadership team that we have working with us. I want to tell you that I watch these men of God, you know, really, truly spend hours and hours and hours just really doing things for the Lord. And we just want to pray them up and encourage them. And we want to encourage every brethren, praise God, from the youngest to the oldest. I just want you to know we are in this together and we are in it for the best. So let's continue to push ahead. Praise God, I join with the writer that said forward still. It's Jehovah's will, though the billows dash and spray, but with a conquering tread, we're going to push ahead and roll every sea away. God bless you. Be strong in the Lord. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God bless you. Just lift your hands and give God praise one more time. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Thank God bless you. you. Greet everyone in the mighty name of Jesus to Bishop Simpson and his family. Pastor Grange and his family and to all of the pastors, uh, to uh, uh, Minister Smith running this part of our service and doing a, a wonderful job. To all of God's wonderful people and all our visiting friends, we greet you in the mighty name of Jesus. We are just so grateful to uh, made this this far through the year. And and I, I joined with Elder Walters and said it has been a trying year. Uh, year this year with so many of us. Uh, we just uh, was always wondering if or not we will get come down with this COVID and how would we deal with it. And thanks be to God, he has, for those of us who have uh, in, uh, was infected by this virus, God have kept us and has protected us. So many thousands of people uh, got uh, COVID and died. Uh, but there, there's a, those of us that got it and God's pure of lives, we have something, as Ella Smith says, that we should be rejoicing about tonight. And we're just so grateful that we're alive. I am thanking God for life. There's just so much things to thank God for, I can't. But I do want to say uh, that we certainly thank God for all of the many departments that have been working in this church who over the last little bit, oh, how we are grateful for all of the different departments from the ushers, youth department, men's, ladies, musician, for those working at the back, we are so grateful for all that you do. Uh, for those that pray for the prior warriors, oh my God, let me tell you, COVID have pulled out prior out of us. For many of us, we have never prayed like we have done. We have hooked up to all these prayer lines. Our ministry have comfort and we are grateful. <laughs> I want to just say thank you to uh, uh, my family who have just been, it has been a, one of those years for me. It's just busy in every area of my life. But I thank God for my wife and for my children and uh, just just being there to help me to have balance. Uh, I, I do think it's important to acknowledge uh, a, a pastor, Pastor Grange, who has just worked so tirelessly. And so uh, a lot of folks don't know and don't see uh, uh, what he goes through and what he has to go through on a daily basis. And we want to let you know, we appreciate you and we are praying for you, sir, to uh, our greatest advisor, Elder Walters, who have just been a, a tower of strength. We want to thank God for him. Oh, what a father he has been to many of us. And we just want to thank God for him. I do, I, brethren, I have learned how to honor people and I have learned how to love people. And I, it's those things that we are who we are today god bless you god bless you everyone at the time we are praying as we get ready to bring in a new year we are ready for ministry for kingdom ministry we are ready for where the lord is going to bring us we are excited i know that there's greatness ahead of us and i'm looking forward to be a part of that and as elder as elder smith said it earlier on whatever you're doing in this season don't do it without me i want to be a part of that kingdom program. 
God bless you in Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Protocol has been established. Amen. Not leaving anyone out, but we thank God for each and everyone that's online tonight. Uh, scripture that comes to mind tonight is uh, found in Psalms 145. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. We're not in the church right now, but you are in your own sanctuary. So you're entered into your sanctuary with thanksgiving. You're into your courts with praise. Uh, the Bible says, give thanks to him and praise his name. It's a command. If you're in your sanctuary, give praise to him. For why? For the Lord is good and his love, his mercies endures forever. His faithfulness continues throughout all generations. So one thing that this year has really taught me is that um, it's, it's taught me to give thanks in every situation that uh, I find myself, in every situation that has come against us. There's something about when you, gratitude will always override, amen, the negative vibes, the negative talk and everything else. If we can just forget about what is going wrong, you know, when you think about it, there is more that is going right that is going wrong. But if we're not careful, we'll focus on the wrong rather than the right. But if you focus on the right, you will always have that opportunity to offer up gratitude unto the Lord. Thank God for the ministry. Again, as Elder Scott has said, with Elder Amen, Pastor Grange, and Bishop Simpson, his family, of their family, Amen, Elder Walters, and Elder Scott himself, Amen, um, past, um, Elder, um, Elder Smith, and all the ministers and everybody else that has, we have worked together. The reason why we're here tonight, the reason, Amen, why we can offer praise tonight is because we have all worked together. We you might not agree on everything together, but we're determined that when we come into the house of God, we're going to put our differences aside and we are going to worship God together because why? He inhabits the praise of his people. So I'm thanking God, amen, uh, tonight for each and every one and for what he's doing. Needless to say, it's minus 39 where you folks are. It's plus four down here, but God bless you. We'll see you uh, in another week or so. Okay, Voca vacation must be nice, eh? Making fun of us in the cold. God bless you, sir. Praise the Lord Jesus. As, as Elder Scott mentioned earlier, that because of this Zoom thing, a lot of us per, per life has taken off, and a lot of us are on different per line. And as such, when you call on us to pray, be prepared for like 15 minutes to half an hour worth of prayer. Um, however, I am going to ask Missionary Edwards in a few minutes just to pray for our leaders. Uh, a brief prayer, not half an hour. Praise the Lord Jesus. I know you have it in you. But we just want to pray and cover our leaders as we move into the new year. But before she does, I am going to ask uh, Evangelist Simpson if she wants to open and just share her greetings on behalf of herself and, and Bishop Simpson. And I'm also going to ask Sister Rob, if she's still on from Winnipeg, to share a greeting as well. So Sister Simpson, sorry, Evangelist Simpson, and then Missionary Rob, if they're on still. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. Praise God. We just want to honor him tonight and bless him. Thank him for taking us through the past two years. It has been rough. But I tell you, I remember Bishop Simpson said, the way is not always bright, but it's right. Brethren, I thank God that I know God for myself. And I am encourage each and every one online, know God for yourself. Because there's going to come a time when you look and there's no one. Praise God. And if you did not know Jesus Christ for yourself, I'm telling you, you won't make it. I have proven him. Praise God for the past two years. I thank God for Bishop Simpson, his ministry. Hallelujah that I get saved under. I thank God for the teaching that I got. Because in the times when I can't make it, I always could reflect back on some of those great preachers, teachers, and all those are the tools that God used to bring us to where we are today. 
So on behalf of Bishop Simpson and myself, he's not available right now. I just want to thank God for the church. I want to thank God for the brethren. I want to thank God for those that the Lord used, praise God, to shape my life for, for, for me to be here today and to give thanksgiving unto the Lord. I said to somebody, if I didn't know God for myself, I would have backslidden. But because I know too much about him, I can't turn back now. My desire is to see Jesus at the end of my journey and hear well done. I'm sorry Bishop can't give you his greetings tonight, but on behalf of him, praise God. I know that he would have a praise in his heart, praise God, and a shout in his spirit for the brethren tonight and appreciation for all those brethren that pray for us while we were here battling is the greatest. I'm telling you, I know I fought a lot of battles before, but this one, praise God, I'm telling you, I've learned to trust God because the Lord through it brought the best out of me. So I just want to tell you all, continue on on your journey. I love you all and continue to pray one for the other and love each other in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. We totally understand that Bishop is resting and we, we have no doubt that he would have a praise to share with us. So we are grateful. Thank you so much for greeting us. Uh, Missionary Rob, if you're still on, can you just share a brief greeting with us, please? Hallelujah. Praise Sincere the greetings Lord. greetings to each and every one in the name of Jesus. Like Pastor Walter said tonight, I am jumping from uh, service to service tonight, just enjoying the presence of the Lord with the saints of God. I want to especially send greetings to Pastor uh, Michael Grange and his beautiful wife and all the other pastors, co-pastors, sincere greetings. Uh, Pastor is on another Zoom. So on the behalf of all the saints in Winnipeg, I am here just as a representation to greet you all. Truly, God is a good God. I love what Sister Simpson said about battles. And I, sometimes we feel like we're in the ring. And, we're, and it, I don't know about anybody, but I used to love boxing. <clears throat> and the thing about boxing is you don't know the winner until the count is finished to 10. And some of us perhaps this year might have been knocked down, but we didn't stay down. We got up and we're still here and we're fighting. And the good thing why we're fighting is because we know the fight is already fixed. We already know who's going to be victorious. We already know who is going to be, hands are going to be raised in victory. And that is the saints of the living God. We were knocked down, but we didn't stay down. We got up and we're still fighting. And so as we go forward, I want to tell you, brethren, fight on saints of God. Because the hotter the battle, my God, is the sweeter the victory. God bless you in Jesus' Amen. name. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. I, I love boxing too. Eh? So we, we, shouldn't, we shouldn't spar with the enemy. We should just give him a right uppercut and knock him out. Praise the Lord Jesus. <laughs> Praise the Lord Jesus. I also, right. like, I also like what, 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 what missionary uh, Simpson said in regards to pastor. The, the, the future is not always right, but it's always bright. Praise the Lord. I am going to steal that one. So if you see me say that sometime, please remember to give uh, respect where respect is due. Praise the Lord. Sister yeah. Andrew is going to be coming in. Missionary Edward, sorry, is going to be coming in at this time. And just to breathe a, a, a brief word of prayer over our leaders in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Almighty God, our Father, our Creator, Lord, we honor you tonight. We lift you up and we magnify you, Almighty God, because of who you are. Father, we thank you for this privilege, this opportunity that you have granted unto us, Lord, to be here tonight. Father, we thank you, Almighty God, for the leaders that you have placed in our midst. We thank you, Almighty God, for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding that you have given to them, Lord Jesus Christ, to lead your people. Father, 
tonight, Lord Jesus Christ, and placing them into your hands. Mm -hmm. We don't know what next year holds, Father, but we know, God, that you're in complete control. Father, mm -hmm. I pray, God, that increase of wisdom, increase of faith, increase of knowledge and understanding be granted unto them. Help them, Lord Jesus Christ, to stay at your feet, to learn, mighty God, and to listen for direction Amen. on the way forward. My God, I pray, Lord Jesus, that when they open their mouth to speak, they will speak without fear or favor. Mm. They will speak what thus said the Lord, Almighty God. Put your words in their mouth, in their heart. Hallelujah. When they open their mouth, souls will be saved. Souls will be blessed. Lord mm. Jesus Christ, they're not on their own agenda, but they're sent out by you, Father. Yes. And I pray, God Almighty, that you will equip them, that you will empower them, and you will strengthen them to move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Father, Jesus. I pray right now that you will shut the mouth of the critics. Yes, Lord God Lord. Almighty, yes, I pray Lord. that you will fight against those that in fight the name against of Jesus. them. In the name of Jesus Christ, keep them under your blood, mighty wow. God. Renew Hallelujah. their strength day by day. Mm. Cover their family, cover their home. Mm. Every areas of their life, God, let it be lined up with your words. Mm. In Father, in the name of Jesus name Christ, of Jesus. we are committing them into Hallelujah. your hands. Mm. We join forces around your leaders. Mm. We stand in agreement, God. peace in their home. We mm. declare peace in their life. We in God, we declare, God, that no sickness, no in disease, the name of no Jesus. danger, no harm come nigh them. Hallelujah. Father, when they go out and when they're coming, Lord Jesus Christ, angels will encamp around them. Yes. God, let them be prosperous. Let their mm. home, their family be prosperous. They continue mm. to work in your kingdom. We mm. commit them in your hands again tonight, Father. Jesus. And leave them in your care. Go before them. Go with them and lead them on forward in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name we of say Jesus. thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you. Praise Hallelujah. the Lord. Can we all just open Glory. our mic and give Hallelujah. our thanks tonight for all Hallelujah. our leaders? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 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 Lord.
I'm going to leave this world no more to roam. Some sweet day when life is over. Some sweet day, some happy day, I'm going away. Come on, where are the singers? Open your mic. Some sweet day, I'm going away. I'm going to leave this world. No Some sweet day, life is over. some sweet day i'm going away brother neil is just there having a wonderful time worshiping god look at the smile on his face he's feeling it praise yes, the lord yes i am praise the lord praise the lord <laughs> <laughs> hallelujah keep that guitar tuned up <laughs> <laughs> no it's god hard to, you, it's hard to play with all these one. vices all over the place <laughs> Yes. I hear you, I hear we you. We heard the guitar, we heard oh, it. Praise, praise the Lord. Lord. Brother Neil, I'm going to turn it over to you for your testimony, sir. Praise, praise the, the Lord. Lord. Just want to say on behalf of myself and Brother Carlton, uh, we're greeting the men. And we just want to thank you for the support over this past year. And we look forward to uh, a very impactful and spirit-led uh, men's ministry leading into 2022. Because I truly believe that God has something in store for us you know we're, we're not at our best right now and we're learning as the world is changing and things are being moved around we as the church are also learning and we're able to move with the times praise the lord because our god is a relevant god and he knows the beginning before the end and i'm just asking the men just to stay on board with us and you know i can i can truly believe that god will put us on top of the mountain you pray my strength in jesus name thank you Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. I want to be on top of that mountain with you, sir. Yes. Praise the Lord Jesus. I believe we'll have a catawampus time just worshiping on top of that mountain. Praise the Lord. My grandmother made that word up and I still use it today. A catawampus time. Praise the Lord Jesus. She yes. lived to 108 years old and she continued use every time she saw me. Catawampus time. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. So if we get up on top of the mountain, Brother Neil, we will have a catawampus yeah, time just yeah. worshiping the Lord. Praise the Lord Jesus. At this time, we're going to ask Sister Spencer. I'm not sure if it's Sister Angie or if it's her mother or if it's both, but they can just come in now and share their testimony. Amen. Praise God. Bless the Lord, everyone. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I'm giving God thanks tonight for all he has done for me, you know. 2021 was a trying year, not just for me, but for a lot of people. And when I look back into it, you know, God has been so good. Like I'm a frontline worker and throughout the pandemic, I still had to go to work 
And, you know, at times it does cross my mind. I don't want to get sick and bring it home to my elderly mother. Nevertheless, the mercies of God, he kept me, you know, he protected me, he provided for me. And it's my desire just to keep the relationship going with God and just want it to be stronger in 2022. You know, every time I think about the Psalm, Psalm 34, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. You know, sometimes as human beings, we might feel this courage down and out. But despite how we feel, we have to keep pressing along. Just keep believing and thinking back. God has brought us this far. You know, he's not going to leave us. You know, so many times, you know, we might have our mortgage or whatever to pay or other things. And we might not even see where the money is coming from. from. But nevertheless, God steps in and he helps us. He takes care of it. And as the young people sing the songs tonight, you know, you are my strength. Surely God is our strength. He's our hope. He's our everything. Had it not been for him, we wouldn't have been in our right mind. So I am grateful tonight that I'm in my right mind. My mom is healthy and she's in her right mind. And as they sing again, I can't even walk without you holding my hand. If it had not been for the mercies of God, think about it. Where would we be? So I will be forever grateful to Christ. And I'm just asking him to keep me, help me to keep his words within me. Because at times there won't be anybody around to encourage you. So you have to take something out from within you to uplift yourself, you know, to know that God is your protector. He's your guide and your, your everything. So I'm just encouraging everyone just to press along, keep believing in Christ because he never fail us. And our reward, it's not from man, but from God. God bless you all. Amen. Amen. For sure. Our reward is from God. Yeah. Amen. And we look forward to seeing him someday. Praise the Lord. Brother Carlton Douglas had a testimony. He's over there at the Bonics ensuring that they're on the line. So if you can just open the mic and give a praise from that house. Praise the Lord Jesus. The praise Jesus. Praise, Jesus. praise him. Yeah. Brother Bonnick and uh, Sister Bonnick want to say a quick, a quick praise. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise Jesus. Yeah. 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 COVID has uh, thrown a wrench in a lot of people's plan this year. Because last year, at this time, I thought I would be in Jamaica in the sunshine. And then, uh, oh, I saw it by, I said, this year, it'd be all gone. But no, I'm still here in the cold. Yes, Nevertheless, I have to give God yeah, thanks. thanks. I was phoning a few elderly brethren today, and I spoke with Brother Bonnie, and he says, uh, oh, he wants to, you know, the service is coming on, but he won't be able to get on there. So I said, okay, well, I'll come over. And so we could watch service together. And Sister, Sister Douglas came along with me, which is a very good thing. And uh, before I get any further, brethren, uh, there's a brother, Brother... Barrington all is he's not doing well. I spoke to him today and he needs he needs the church's prayer. He is not he's in a really bad condition. And like if you do call him, make it after two o'clock because he said he cannot sleep during the night. So he goes to bed at four and then sleeps around two o'clock in the morning. But like he needs encouragement. He's not doing well. Yeah, but like uh, as I say, this COVID thing. It, it, it's a blessing in disguise for, for some people because, like, uh, it has it has taken me to places like uh, like uh, there's an elderly fella that um, I I go and visit like on Sunday. Like uh, the only time he, he gets to see service if I bring my computer. And like uh, when I go uh, last Sunday, I didn't have enough time. I just because I had to bring my family to church, and I, I went to. I have a quick visit and he says to me, he says, oh, you didn't bring your computer. Oh, I said, no, I said, uh, I said but next week I'll bring it. But you see, COVID, I don't know, like, uh, COVID is something that, uh, I don't know, it's, it's wrecking a lot of people. And with this new variant now that is saying that it is so easy to catch. But I can't understand, they said, like, you're going in your nostril, like, like if you breathe or breathe it in. But so many people got pets. And I've never heard of a cat or a dog who got COVID. 
So I don't know, something, God is doing something. So maybe this thing online is for us to reach out to some, some people cannot make it to church. So we, we're gonna use this medium to do what we can to help people who cannot make it out. And brethren, if you know somebody who cannot make it out to church, if you can even spend an hour or something with them, God's gonna bless you tremendously. These are my few words in Jesus' name. Praise, Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God bless you, Brother Carlton, and thank you so much for going over to the Bonics tonight and ensuring that they were online. We really appreciate it. It's good to see them and to hear them. Praise the Lord. May God continue to bless you and your ministry as you continue to reach out to our seniors. Praise the Lord. We have about five minutes to go before we get the preacher up, and we have two more testimonies. Praise the Lord Jesus. Is Sister Beth Dixon online tonight? Praise yes. the Lord. Go ahead and share your testimony. Praise the Lord. I greet all those wonderful people in the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Yes? Are you hearing me? Yes, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Bless the Lord, oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Truly, God has been faithful and merciful to my family and myself. Thank God he has kept me to see the last of what was a very challenging year. It was one of the most challenging year that I can think of, but I have learned. It makes me learn how to depend and I count it as a blessing because it makes me learn how to lean and depend and trust in Jesus more. I was always thinking I was super mom. I was always running around taking care of the whole family, but did not realize I myself was very ill. I had I not had I had a bad reaction to the COVID shot and I wouldn't have realized there was underlying illness that I was not aware of. But thank God I had a bad fall. Upon their investigation, they found out that there was some underlying issues that, thank God, there was a miracle that it was resolved. And before I go tonight, I want to leave a verse that I am also taking into um, 2021. And it's from Joshua 1, verse 9. And it says, be strong and of good courage. Be not afraid, neither be thou dismay. For the Lord thy God is with us, where server thou goest. And I, I don't know who uh, about... 2022, but I know who holds the future. And once he holds the future, I know I'm placing my life into his hand because he has kept me through 2021. And I know I'm stepping into 2022. I am not taking any sickness. I'm not taking anything. This whole year, I have been laid up. Just as I went, the, most of the year, I was off. I had bad symptoms with the COVID, like long haul with the COVID. And I struggle with breathing and everything, but I am not taking any of them in 2022. 2022 gonna be a year of good health for my family and myself. You pray my strength, God bless you in Jesus. Name. God bless you, Sister Dixon. It's nice to hear from you and we trust and pray that all will be well. Praise the Lord. We also claim your healing in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. And then the final testimony tonight will be coming from missionary Andrea Edwards. Praise the Lord Jesus. If you can open your mic and share your testimony. Bless the Lord. Bless Praise the Lord. Praise God. I just want to greet each and every one of God's children tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. I am just giving God thanks tonight for all his benefits towards us. Um, throughout 2021, it, I know it has been a very hard and challenging, 
challenging here for a lot of us. But I can truly say God has been so good to me, to us. Um, there are times when there, there's some testimony you will just hold on to. It doesn't matter how long, you will always, you will always keep that testimony, knowing where God has brought us from and where he has taken us to today. I have no <clears throat> other means or reason to doubt God, but to say thank you, Jesus, for what he has done. He has taken us from a mighty, mighty long way. Throughout this year, I have proven so many scriptures, one that says he spread a table in the wilderness. Throughout this chaotic world, this chaotic time, throughout this, this pressing time, is a time that you see God opening up doors um, for us. And I'm just giving God thanks. And um, there's, there's times when we're going through hard times, we're going through hard trials, and we think that, um, God, why me? But we, there are times when we have to, throughout my testing and trials, I had to ask myself, maybe God is boasting about me with the, with, with the, the, the devil, just like Job. So what if God is saying, try my servant, Andrea, and see if she will curse me, take away everything from her stripped me i was stripped of everything but i had to give god thanks because i don't serve god i don't worship god for what i have or what he can give to me but for who he is and i just want to say thank you to all the ladies i know we have started out slowly on behalf of the ladies um team we have started out slowly but remember the race is not for the swift but for those that endure to the end, we may start it out slowly. It, was be, it has been a challenging year. There is not much that we could do, but going forward, we are praying and trusting that God will give us the strength and the opportunity to do more for 2022. And I'm thanking all the ladies for their support. And I'm praying that you will continue to support us as we go through because we cannot do this on our own. We are depending on you for the support. And I'm really, I'm, 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 I can't really give my full testimony because of time. So I just wanna say thank you, Jesus, for everything that he has done. And I know 2022 will be a better year. I'm speaking it into being in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord Jesus. I know that there's a lot of persons online tonight that would have loved the opportunity to testify, but I am sure, you know, I'm, 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 I'm overstepping here, but I'm sure come the new year, we might just have a Sunday night where we just have testimonies. Pastor, I'm putting you on notice, sir. Praise the Lord Jesus. Overstepping my, my, my boundaries here. But praise the Lord. I'm sure there's a lot of persons on here that would love to God. Thanks. But we need to hear from God tonight. And you know, in, in previous years, when, when we would hand over the service to Bishop Simpson, Bishop Simpson would normally take the mic and he would sing, he would claim one of his favorite songs. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I know it's going through your mind now which song is that because he did have a lot. But this song he would quite sing and, you know, he would often start offbeat and then the praise and worship team would catch up. So I may start offbeat tonight, but he would say, every praise is to our God, every word of worship with one accord, every praise, every praise is to our God. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Sing hallelujah to our God. Glory hallelujah is to our God. Every praise, every praise is to our God. Come on, sing with me. God, my Savior, God, my healer, 
God, my deliverer. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Every praise is to our God. Every word of worship with one accord. Every praise. Every praise is to our God. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Amen. Normally at this time, if we were in the sanctuary, I would say to you, brothers and sisters, stand with me. But seeing that we're on Zoom tonight, I will ask you to stand with me in your spirit. Praise the Lord Jesus. As we welcome to this platform, the man of the hour, the man that is tasked with breaking the bread of life, the word of God, for the last time in 2021. Please help me welcome at this time, Minister Ranford Plummer, in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Come on, keep clapping those hands and just giving God praise tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, let's keep clapping your hands and giving him praise tonight because the praise Lord has the Lord been Jesus. good. The Lord has been good. The Lord has been good. Amen. Certainly, it's a privilege just to be on tonight. I'm just to share with you real quickly. Um, from what I get, I understand that Pastor needs to get up before 12 o'clock. So I'll try to be as brief as I can. But certainly, I just want to greet um, Bishop Simpson, Lady Simpson, Pastor Grange, and Elisa Grange, and to the associate pastors and their wives, definitely to the officers of the, this great church, and to everyone tonight, God's wonderful people. I just want to greet you um, tonight on this service, also to my wife and to my family as well. I just want to bless God for them and the blessings that they have brought to me. And if there's anyone visiting, I am Sister Rob as well. Um, that's visiting with us tonight and anyone else that is visiting from another assembly we just want to bless god for you thank you for sharing in this um, service tonight definitely when i think about new year's eve service i think about it as a night of celebration and a night of reflection certainly throughout the course of this year that the lord you know the lord has been good to each and every one of us I thought about it that if we, as you said, uh, moderator Patrick Smith, that if every single person in, um, I was given an opportunity to testify, then we probably would be here until tomorrow morning. Because honestly, if we really think about it, that if we think the Lord has done nothing for us throughout the course of this year, the fact that we are alive at this very moment, being just 30 minutes away from 2022, we have 365 reasons just to give him praise. We have 365 reasons to clap our hands. We have 365 reasons to shout because every single day that his mercies are new is an opportunity that we have to give him praise. So even at this time that we are here, it's an opportunity for us to celebrate and give God praise. I just want to run quickly um just to the scripture because i thought about it it's a it's it's celebration it's about god it's not about us really what we have been through and what we have overcome is only because of him and and when i thought about it i said you know what what better way what scriptures would, would match a service like this and the lord just took me into the book of psalm um and and, and there's so many psalm that i could actually bring out because the Psalms is just a collection of songs and poems and hymns and just glorifying one subject, and that's the Almighty God. And, and, and you know, as David being one of the writers, uh, main writers of the, the book of Psalms, writing over 73 uh, of those chapters, it's amazing the words that he uses and the way that he will just put the words together. And I, I, I just know that he's writing from a personal uh, um, experience, from a, from a play, place of what God has done for him. And he's just transferring that into a, a song or into words, just glorifying his God. And so tonight, I, I'm of the same opinion as well, that the Lord has been good. The Lord has been good to me. I have no reason to complain. I have no reason to, to doubt that he's already stepped into my 2022 and that my steps are ordered by him. I have no doubt that whatever the Lord will do, as you said, in this season, I just want to be a part of it because I know he's already up to something in this season. I just need to continue to stay with him. And so tonight, as we, we look at the, the scripture, and I'll get to it in a few minutes, 
Um, I just want to just, just think about it that if you're in the book of Psalm, there's no way you can you cannot talk about David. It, there's no way, even though Psalm 91 was not credited to David. In fact, some say that Moses was the one who wrote it, but there's no author that was listed for such a powerful Psalm that we have been reading, I mean, uh, almost all of our lives. Uh, um, but I just want to think, when I, and when I think about it, and I think about this year, I think about all the things that many of us have been through from the start of the year, from last year into this year. Uh, I, I just think about David and I just think about the things that he, he has been through. You know, last year, I, I heard some persons were just dying, you know, to get into 2021 they, because it was the it was a pandemic. And they were like, no, I just want to get into 2021 because probably 2020, you know, it, it is just the year that everything was just going wrong. They got into 2021 and COVID came over into 2021. Uh, and now we're in 2022 and COVID is coming over into 2022. Uh, I, I, and so, you know, for some people, they're wondering, when is this going to end? When is this going to stop? But I, I just, I'm just here tonight to encourage somebody. Um, I just here to encourage myself as well in the Lord that, 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 that it doesn't matter what, you know, the, the pandemic, is going to do or how much is going to affect us that you know we are the lord himself is already with us and if the lord is with us then we are covered and we're protected by him and so tonight i just want to raise for a subject i i and when i when i when i when i when it came into my spirit it it, it, it the subject and, and i heard pastor scott on sunday while he was preaching and he said it a few times and i said i I, I'm definitely there, sir. That's where my spirit is. And, and he simply said it just in adoration to God that I survived it. And, 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 and you know, many, many of us, there, there are many things that we have been through in 2021, and we can lift our hands to God and say, I've survived it. So that's my topic tonight, but it's not yet complete because I couldn't just say I survived it because of my own strength and of my own uh, um, will, I would not have made it. I cannot make it without him. So my subject tonight in its complete sense is I survived it because of my God. It's not because of my boss. It's not because of the money in the bank. It's not because of my, my own abilities. I survived it because of my God. And that's the subject I would like to, to leave with somebody tonight, that you have survived 2021 because of your God. And you will step into 2022 and you will survive 2022 because of your God. And so when I look at what David has been through as a man, from, from a very tender age, David has, has been dealing with many things. They, they talk about the lines that will come and David um, will, will, will get um, rid of all the obstacles that, I found a way to that has come his way. And, and, and here it is that David himself, as he grew and found favor um, with the Lord, that he was anointed um, to be king and Saul himself wanted to kill him. And, and we know at many times when David will come and play and, and, and Saul will just be so, so angry because the presence of the Lord has left him and he, and he will just try to kill him. But every time Saul tried, David escaped it. He survived it. And so the Lord has preserved him. When we look in 1 Samuel and we, 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 we can see even chapter 19 where Saul told his, his messenger, stole Jonathan, his son, that I'm going to kill David. Uh, and, and we can see that even... The, the, the children of your enemy will, 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 will be on your side because you are covered by God. You know, even the very children of Saul expose his plan and reveal it to David that, he's, that my dad will try to kill you. His very wife also allowed him to survive an attack when he sent spies to, to his house and she let him through the window. He survived it. And so here it is, brethren, that I don't want you to think that there is no storm that is going to happen in 2022. I don't want you to think that every single day of your life is going to be easy. I don't want you to think that 2022 is going to be a year of nothingness. No, it's going to be a time that the enemy will try even harder 
Saul tried very hard to get to David. Even after David escaped, Saul kept trying. He had spies everywhere. He had people set up everywhere just to find out where David is because his mission was to destroy him. That's the plan of the enemy. The enemy, everywhere that we go, doesn't matter where we are, doesn't matter what position we hold. I've heard about so many things that happened to great leaders um, in, in 2021 that have fell because the enemy targeted them. And I'm saying the enemy is not sparing anyone. He's not going to stop. So it doesn't matter where you go, even if you leave Canada, if you go to the United States, if you go to Europe, the enemy will not stop until he destroys you. But guess what? I, 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 if you just keep uh, I, I'm trusting God, you know, one of the things that Jonathan said to, 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 to David, and, and it really pricked me, he said, find a secret place and hide thyself. And we're, we're going to see it coming out in Psalm 91, that there is a secret place in God that the enemy can't touch you. Right? And, and, but guess what? You have to abide there in order for you to be covered by him. And so, you know, and all, in all the instances throughout David's life, and one of the things that really, really touched me was at one point of running and fleeing from Saul, he found himself in the middle of his enemies. He found himself in, in, in a place called Gath. And, it, and, if you, and, and we know about the story, David and Goliath. Goliath is from Gath, uh, from, from, the, from the Philistine country. And so David himself found himself in the middle of the enemy's camp. But even in the middle of the enemy's camp, the devil couldn't touch him. In fact, when, when we look further down in 1 Samuel, I think it's 27, the king of, uh, of, of God gave David a, 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 a town for him to live, and that's Ziklag. And, and for many persons who know, know scriptures, you remember when, when David's wives and, and, their, and their children and, every, and, the, and the women were taken, and David inquired of the Lord, should I overtake them? That's why they were in Ziklag, because the enemy gave him you know, a land for himself. And you find that even in the midst of, of, of your storm, like the, the Lord can allow you to, it, it, the Bible says that he will furnish a table in the wilderness. He will furnish a table in the presence of your enemies. Why? Because he is that God. And, and, and so here it is that we're, we're looking at David had to flee also from his own son. You know, so you, you can't look at the psalm and don't look at David, a man that is able to, 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 to pen scriptures and show the goodness of God. And if we're going to say that we have survived anything, uh, 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 we have to now really and truly give praise to God. It's not about you. It's not about alone what you have done. It's because of the mercies of God. One preacher said at one time that sometimes we need to also give God Thanks for the things that we have not seen or experienced. You know, you know, I, I've seen accidents. I, I've seen many things and just being delayed for two minutes. The Lord protected you. That could have been you. So even for the things that you have not experienced that he has protected you, we ought to give him praise for. One of the things also in the scripture, it says that David found himself in a cave called Adulam. And when I look at the word Adulam, it's a place of refuge. And the Bible said, because of the threat of, of Saul, that Saul was threatening everyone that concerning David. His own family came there. Um, his family had to leave as well because of the threat on their life. But the thing about the place of refuge, when you look at um, 1 Samuel 22, is that the Bible says in verse 2 that, and everyone that is distressed, everyone that is in debt, everyone that is discontented, gathered themselves unto David. So even while he was running from his enemy, he found a place of refuge. And guess what? When you find that place of refuge, it's for you to, to get somebody else in that space. Because that place of refuge is a place where God is. And if God is there, then there is covering there. So in the midst of it, over 400 people gathered themselves unto a man that was fleeing from his enemy because he found that place of refuge. I'm here to tell somebody tonight that if you actually find that place in God, the enemy can't touch you. If you find that place in God, it doesn't matter what you're going through, it will not destroy you. You know, it, it, it's amazing when, 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 the, when the Hebrew boys found themselves in the midst of the furnace. You know, the interesting thing is that God was already there. So when they walked in it, that which was supposed to destroy them was already designed by God as a place of refuge because Jesus was already, God was already in the fire. So even when we are 
in the fire, if our God is there, then the place that was designed by the enemy to destroy you is a place of covering for you. And that's how powerful God is. And so I don't want you to, 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 to transition over into 2022 with, a, with any fear or doubt. I don't want any one of us to transition into 2022 just focusing on COVID-19. I don't want anyone to transition into 2022 looking at the things that didn't go right in 2021. I want every single person on this line tonight to understand that if you are in the secret place of God, if you are abiding under the shadow of the Almighty, that it doesn't matter what 2022 holds, that you are covered by God and you will also survive it. And so I don't want you to feel discouraged. I don't want you to feel as if things are not going to go your way. And, and so the, the, the Bible says in, in, in Psalm 91 and verse one, it says, he that dwelleth in the secret place, and this secret place is of the most Hi, and I'm talking about the God who created the heaven and the earth. We're talking about the God who created man, the God who has our lives in his hand. It was not us that made ourselves, it was him. So we are talking about the, the great God. We're talking, we talking about the most high God. We're talking about the El Shaddai, the almighty God, the one that himself have all power in his hands. And so the Bible says, I mean, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. We're talking about God. And so the word dwelleth, it's in the present tense. It doesn't mean that you, you, you used to dwell or you were dwelling in. He that dwelleth, he that is under, he that is currently in the presence of the Lord. So it, it, it means that one, we have a choice if we are going to dwell in his secret place. That's one. Two, also we may have walked out of his secret place. So it, it, we have to understand, brethren, that only if we are in and the word dwell in the Hebrew actually speaks to, to stay, to remain, or to sit down. Yashab, when you convert it, so if I, should, if, I should, if I should break the sentence up and use the Hebrew definition, it would say, he that stay in the secret place of the Most High, he that remain in the secret place of the Most High, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High, what? Shall abide uh, I'm under the shadow of the Almighty. So if you're not in the secret place, you're not under the shadow of the Almighty. I, I, and so, Bridget, I want to tell us that, you know, it doesn't matter if you feel Feel as though you want to give up. I'm telling you, if you leave the shadow, you're leaving the protection of Almighty God. And if you're, if there's anyone on this line who's not yet saved, you are actually not under the shadow of the Almighty because you have to put away sin. You have to be baptized. You have to repent of your sin to be in the secret place because where He is, there's a place of righteousness. And, and so that, as, as children of God, we have to make sure that anybody doesn't lure us out of that secret place and so we can continuously abide there and, and so so here it is that he also said in verse two that i will say that this, this this is a psalmist here i will say of the lord this is a personal experience and and many of us you know can can give our personal testimonies i know we didn't have time tonight but many of us can say of the lord that he is my refuge and he is my fortress he is my God, just in case you're wondering, who is this refuge that we're talking about? Who is this fortress that we're talking about? We're talking about my God in him, not in the economy, not in the government, not in the doctors, in him will I trust. And when we talk about refuge, it's a place of shelter. It's a place of protection from danger. When we talk about fortress, it's a fortified place. Now, think about it. The analogy that the writer used is that the Lord is his protection and shelter, and the Lord is his fortified place. A fortified place is not something that you can penetrate. It means that it is so secured that there is no access for you to get in. And he's saying that my God, that's the statement he used after he says, he's my refuge and my fortress. Then he says, my God, that's who I'm talking about. He is um, the one that I'm speaking of. In him will I trust. Brethren, when David himself found 
when David found himself in the midst of this chaotic situation where his son, Saul, and the enemies, the Philistines, and so many people came upon him, David said it when he penned the psalm. He said, the Lord is what? My rock. The Lord is my fortress. The Lord is my deliverer. Um, the, it is the God of my salvation. What? He is my shield. It's the honor of what? My salvation. He is my refuge. That's coming from a position of, of knowing that if he stays in the secret place, the enemy can't kill him. And I'm here to tell you, church, that if you stay in the secret place, even if you have constructed COVID-19, the Lord will protect you. Even if you have lost your job, the Lord will restore you. Even if you have sickness in your body, the Lord can heal you. Why? Because a secret place is a place that God dwells. And if where God is, then you're in, uh, you're, you're, you're at the brink of a deliverance. If you're where God is, you're at the brink of a breakthrough. If you are where God is, is uh, that your future is already secured. And so here it is that David, when, when, when we look at the word, when we look at the word I, I, I'm refuge, I'm telling you, church, that we are a part of God's refuge. There is a fortified protection that is, that is around you. Your steps are ordered by God. Don't be discouraged. Don't be dismayed. You're stepping into 2022 with the fortress of God. You're stepping into 2022 with God covering you. So there's nothing that you need to fear. Even if you're in your storm, just know who is in your storm with you. I, 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 let me run on quickly because I only have a few minutes. Verse three, surely he shall deliver thee from the sneer of the fowler. And I looked up the word sneer and fowler. Sneer is a trap. It, 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 the psalmist is saying, surely he will deliver you and I from the, the, the trap of the enemy. He will deliver us from the fowler, which is the devil. So the Lord will deliver us from every trap that the enemy sets. Can you imagine? I know that there were some traps that were set in 2021 and we survived it. There were some traps uh, that we didn't even see. There are some traps that we have been through and the enemy thought that we would have been captured, that we would have backslid, that we would have left the church, but we are still here. The few minutes into 2022, we are still standing declaring that God is worthy to be praised. And so it also speaks about the noisome pestilence. And we're going through right now a very trying time with COVID-19. And noisome, in a sense, is about evil and earthful. Some people have said some bad things to us in 2021. Some of us have been abused with, with words. Some of us have been uh, um, disappointed by others. But the Lord, it says, even from this, uh, the Lord will deliver you. I, 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 I like what David said in Psalm 124, verse 6. He says, blessed be the Lord who had not given us as a prey to their teeth. Ether. Our soul is escaped as a bird out of the sneer of the fowlers. The sneer is broken. I'm here to tell somebody that the sneer is broken. The trap that held you in 2021 is broken. The trap that held you in a static position is broken. You are no longer imprisoned in that situation the sneer is broken and we are escaped read it for yourself psalm 124 verse 6 7 and i'm going to verse 8 our help is in the name of the lord who hath made heaven and earth i'm here to tell somebody that the sneer is broken i don't know if you believe it but you're you are you are now released out of that thing that held you in 2021 the prison door that was locked the lord himself has already released it the keys have already been given you have the power and even this moment even in this hour you have this opportunity right now to give god praise because the sneer is broken i'm running quickly the lord himself shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings uh, shall he, he, he cover us. Just think about it, that uh, under his wings, uh, mighty God, if you know chickens and their ends, you can't go close to, the, to any chicken because the hens are so protective. And that's the, the analogy that the writer used, that he covers us. Uh, it means that you can't even see us when we're under his wings. Uh, when, when, when you see the, the chickens under the, the, the wings, you, you can't see the chickens. You only mm. saw the one person, which is the hen. And that's our 
God, when the enemy looks, uh, is that seeing you is seen the Almighty God, he's seen the omnipotent God. When My God, just power. So the enemy can't touch you when you are covered under his wings. Yes. And the Bible said, His truth uh, shall Pray. be thy Hallelujah. shield and thy buckler. I'm talking about the truth, the word of the living God. The Bible says, God is not a man that he shall lie, lie. God, that the son of man that he should repent. If God says it, then that settles it. If he says, uh, you don't need to worry. I'm telling you, 2022 is not something I need to worry about because uh, I trust uh, God. Right. I believe uh, his control. word. I am trusting in him. He cannot lie. And if God says it, then I believe it. And that settles it. And so I'm running on here. You know, that though it doesn't matter what you're going through, brethren. That the butler is like a small shield, and not only do you have the small shield, but you also have the the bigger shield. So you have the butler, which most times when you look at soldiers in that time, they will wear it, use it on their hand, a small object that's portable. Each and every one of us are walking with a portable shield, the Holy Ghost that is inside of you, the word of God that's on your lip. You're walking yes. around with a portable shield. Every yes. time the enemy comes at you, you give him back the word. Every time yes. the guards come, you block it with the word. The yes. power of God that's inside of you. Man, the Bible says, "Greater is He that is inside of you than yes. He that is in the very world." The word. Because every arrow, every dart that the enemy tried, God blocked it. He would not let it be so. And we have this power. We have this power. And because we have it, we have the buckler and we have the shield. I, I want to tell somebody: take with you the shield of faith. Oh, yes. You're walking into 2022 with the shield of faith. Yes. Uh, my Hallelujah. God, that which you need, what that which you desire, you're walking into 2022 with it. I here to tell you, church, mm. that you don't need to worry because you survived 2021. You mm. will survive 2022. Hallelujah. Yes, the Lord comes. You are under His shadows. You are under His wings. You are mm. in His secret place. Mm. I, I will bless the Lord, my God, at all times. Mm. I, I feel a shout here because. Hallelujah. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know his praise shall continually be in, in my mouth. I, I'm not going to finish this tonight. I, I, I don't need to finish it because you can preach this to your very self. Thou shalt not be afraid of the terror by night, nor the arrow that fly it by day. And David put it like this in our very familiar psalm. He says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid when the wicked, my God, even the enemy and my foes, when they came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Some people are going to stumble and fall because of who you are. Some Hallelujah. people are going to stumble and fall because of the power that you have. Yes. Who shall encamp against me? Amen. My God, my heart Hallelujah. shall not fear. No war, my God, shall rise against me. In this, will I be confident? I, 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 just, I, I need to run on, but I, just go to verse 5. For in the time of trouble, he, he shall hide me in his pavilion. He shall hide me in his secret place, in the secret of his tabernacle. Hallelujah. Me. Not only will he do that, but he shall set me upon a rock. And if you know who yes. that rock is, if you know who is the founder of every rock, if you know that yes. Jesus Christ is your rock, mm. can you can you imagine that no matter what the enemy does, he yes. will remove the blessings that God My has. My God. Him. For you and I in 2022, I'm here to tell I'm you sorry. that I know I'm going to go through some storms. I'm here You're to right. tell you all right. I know the wind is going to blow. I'm yes. here to tell you God, that the yeah. virus is still going to be there. It's but right. I am not worried about it. I am not fearful it. about it. I because God. the Lord I himself God. will hide me in the secret place. Yes. He will hide yes. me under his wings. He will hide me and he will cover me from everything. Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm here it is, brethren. Over 5.4 million people have already died. Mm -hmm. But you and I My uh, God. know that some of you have been infected, but you're here on this line. You are to be God's strength. Uh, mm. And Scott, when you said it on Sunday, you survived it. Uh, and I'm here God. to tell somebody that even if you catch it in 22, mm. you, you survive. should you survive. survive it. Uh, because we're talking about the omnipotent, powerful Jehovah yes. God. Uh, we're talking about the one who's able to heal. Uh, the Bible said in verse 7, a thousand 
shall fall at thy side and ten thousand mm. at thy right hand, but it shall not come not by thee. You. I wonder if somebody is believing I'm the rest. word. Hallelujah. Tonight, uh, Hallelujah. I wonder if somebody is believing this word. I tonight, bless you, Jesus. Uh, I, I, I'm yes, going to close this right now, but I want somebody here to mm. know if you start to go from verse 9, because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even mm. the most high, thy habitation. If you make God yeah, your yeah, habitation, yeah. if you Hallelujah. make God your habitation, if mm. you give him an opportunity in your yes. life, if you stay under the shadow of his wings, uh, then yes. I can tell you that nothing that the enemy tries will destroy you. Yes, yes. we're going to be bruised sometimes. Yes, mm. uh, we're going to have some cross to carry. Yes, uh, some mm. people are going to try to hurt us. Yes, uh, there are mm. going to be some days we're going to cry. Yes, there are going to be some disappointments. Yes, sometimes things are not going to go our way. Yes, but I know I'm dwelling. I'm okay. dwelling in a secret place. Mm. Just like Job, that which he lost, he got it mm. back double. Yes. That which you have lost, everything that the conquer worm, everything mm. that the palmer worm and the locusts yes. have destroyed. There is coming a time, there is coming a season when mm. the Lord will replenish it all. And so I'm mm. here to tell you, don't be discouraged. Hallelujah. I know it's, it, for some people, it's a depressing time, but mm. the Lord himself is saying tonight, don't worry. Hallelujah. You will survive because of me. I'm still with you i'm mm. walking into the next few minutes mm. with mm. you mm. you are able mm. to survive it tonight mm. th you can finish this on your own because you can preach this mm. if you look at verse 12 13 14 15 and 16 my god mm. you almost want to shout there because you should yes. you, you, you should tread yeah. upon lion yes, yes. Oh my God! Yes, and, and everything that the enemy you you can preach this on your own. I have to go. I have to run out. But I'm here to tell you, you survived 2021 because of him. 2022, bring it on. Because the one thing I know, the very first verse of this lesson is the most important of it all. He that dwelleth in the Rabba. secret place. That's it, sir. Well, if you dwell in the secret. Place. If yes. you just stay right where you are, mm. don't leave, don't leave, don't leave, but mm -hmm. stay right where you are. He that dwelleth in the yes. secret place of the most high well, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. God bless you tonight as mm -hmm. you step in by faith, as Hallelujah. you walk with the shield, as you know that mm. wherever you go, the Lord mm. will give his angels charge. My God, your steps. I've already been ordered by God. Wherever you shall go, wherever your foot shall trod, anything that the enemy tried, Hallelujah. every trap yeah. is already destroyed. Hallelujah. Everything that is already in 2022 that the enemy is plotting, Hallelujah. even at this very moment, the Lord says that the sneer, it is already broken. You are walking into victory. God bless you tonight Wonderful. as you enter Wonderful. into 2022. Give him glory, praise, and honor because you survived it because of God. God bless you tonight. In mm. Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Powerful word. Praise the Lord Jesus. Powerful word. Powerful word. Yes, I am. 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 Y
Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. God bless you all tonight as you continue to worship. Mm. Praise the Lord Jesus. What better way to ring in a new year right, right. than to be caught in worship and praise and giving glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. We weren't even watching the clock. We were just so engulfed in worship. What a word on tonight, brethren. Yes, what a way to close out 2021 and to bring in 2022. I believe tonight... And, and, and I hope you don't feel like I'm picking on him, but I believe tonight if we were in the sanctuary, I'm sure Ella Scott would have taken the mic and would have run with the further right, of this right, message. Right. Praise the Lord That's Jesus. The Lord. He, he would have taken the mantle and he would have bring in 2022 like no other could. Mm. Praise the Lord Jesus. But what a word. Thank God you, God. Bless That's you. Cool, Minister Plummer, God bless you. God bless your family. May God bless your ministry. Mm. Praise the Lord Jesus. What a word, brethren. Amen. Amen. It's perfect, in. Perfect. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. It's in the secret place. Mm. It's in the secret place. Yeah, hallelujah. Whatever you need is in the secret place. Mm. Hallelujah. Your traps are flown in the secret place. Hallelujah. No fowler can touch you in the secret place. Yeah. Hallelujah. Financial and spiritual breakthrough, healing and deliverance is in the secret place. Oh, dear. Hallelujah. But the requirement is, brethren, you have to occupy. Mm. You have to dwell. You have to take up residence mm. because he that dwelleth in the secret place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shall abide. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. You have to take up residence mm. in the secret place to have access to what you need. Praise the Lord. What a word. What a word. What a mm. word. I don't know about anybody else. Hallelujah. But I'm going to regurgitate this word. I'm going to I'm going to put it back on my plate and I'm uh, going to eat uh, it up again. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Brethren, uh, may God bless us tonight. It's been an honor. It's been a privilege wonderful. to have hosted and moderated in this service tonight. Mando, I feel the anointing in this house. Praise the Lord Jesus. And I trust on behalf of my family to everyone that is online tonight. I want to wish everyone a happy and prosperous 2022. I pray that all your dreams, all your desires will be realized in 2022. I pray that every blessing that heaven can afford, hallelujah, to send your way will fall on you. In 2022, I pray that in 2022, there will be no lack. I speak prosperity upon every individual that is online tonight. Mm -hmm. I speak good health upon every individual that is online tonight. In the name of Jesus, mm -hmm. hallelujah. I stand in my oh, office Lord. as an evangelist tonight. Oh, God Almighty, under apostolic authority and governmental agreement, and I speak good health, I speak long life, I speak wealth, mm. I speak prosperity. 
Hallelujah. I speak tonight that there will be no lack upon every individual that right, is online. Right. Mm. May God bless you. May God prosper you. May God, may his face shine upon you nice. and give you peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As I hand over to our pastor that will take us out in 2022. God bless you tonight. Bless you. Jesus. God bless. Amen. God bless. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's put our hands together. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have you been blessed tonight? Have you been blessed? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody shout out. I don't, I don't feel like stop praising God right now. I've been blessed. blessed. I've just been blessed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for evangelist. Thank you, God. Right now. Amen. I thank you, Lord, for your hand Grace. upon him as he lifts him in God. That, Father, you will restore to him, God, yes, what Lord. he has asked of us, God. Yes. That you will oh. lift up his family. And Hallelujah. We bless you. Mm. Open up doors that he never thought was possible, God. My God. Father, in the name of Jesus. In God, the name of Jesus. In his tent and his ministry, God. Yes. what he could even think or comprehend. In God. the name of Jesus. Let the storehouse never go barren, God. Yes. Fear, God. But I pray the deaf, the height, mm. the width, the length of mm. God. In the name of God, Jesus. He will find you there, God. Mm. Beyond what he could even imagine. Mm. Bless his wife, bless his children, bless his wife. Yes. Oh, yes. yes. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, yes. Yes. Hallelujah. And it's pronounced a blessing of God. Of God. We return that blessing to Him, God. We yes. receive and God. And at the oh, same well, the time, Holy God, we impart Him back to Him. We give you the praise and we Amen. give you the glory. Thank you for your man servant tonight as well. Mm. Elder Plummer, oh God, we want to thank you. Thank for you, God. Jesus. Father, we thank you for your word that was rich, that was real to us. Mm. You spoke to each and every one that was here tonight for nobody else, uh, but for those that are online, whether it be on Zoom and YouTube or mm -hmm. where they might be listening to God, you spoke to our hearts uh, and we get up in the morning, God, recognizing that we're going with you. We are going with you, God, your love, your mercy and your grace. Uh, thank you for every testimony. Thank you for every song, God. Thank Hallelujah. you for every sing, God. Uh, Father, I want to thank you for each and every one that on this line uh, that have stood the test of time, God. Uh, uh, Father, although they were battered, uh, mm. although, oh God, they were best, uh, although the battle was hot, God, uh, although we saw hell on steroids, God, uh, but you kept us, Lord. Uh, you kept them, God. Uh, you drove us to our knees. Uh, Father, you allowed us to... Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we are allowed to experience you in a different yes, way. Yes, Lord. Want to say thank you for your servants uh, for yes. to the greatest God uh, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Empower them and keep them in that victory, Lord. Victory. Keep them covered, God, so that yes. again, no one will harm them. Uh, don't let them hear, God, what they shouldn't hear. Don't mm. let them go where they shouldn't go, God. Don't let them leave what they should cleave to God. My God name of Jesus. Yes. Keep your people tonight, God. Keep your people tonight as we enter, oh God, into My God. another year. Yeah. Father, uh, it means nothing to you. you. You're the same God as you were in 2021, as uh, you are today, God. So we go with you. We go with confidence. We hang on to your word tonight, God. Uh, we are going to dwell in your secret. Jesus and if there yes. be any Praise and the be any glory, God. Yes. That is going to go Thank to you. And day. all the people said, Hallelujah. 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 And all the people said, Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Prosperity in the spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Laid on of hands for some. The gift of wisdom, the gift of healing, the gift of knowledge, the gift of discerning. Hallelujah. Whatever it is, God is in partner to his church. So 
be any glory, there be any praise. Uh, yes. Give it unto God tonight. Uh, clap your hands and give God some praise. What a night. What a night. What a night. What a night. And what a blessing. Hallelujah. 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 I am blessed tonight. Yes, I'd love to be in the sanctuary, but uh, amen, this is just how it came out tonight. So we want to thank good. the Lord for each and every one of you that was here tonight. I don't think there's anything lacking tonight. Can I get a witness, somebody? There is nothing lacking tonight. Uh, to our minister, stay right where you are. Don't you dare move. Amen. There's so much more in store for all of you. Amen. And I'm so pleased and so proud, amen, that, that you are part of this vineyard. Amen. And you're working in this part of the vineyard. Uh, the thought that came to me as he was talking there, thank you, Elder, uh, Elder Plummer. Um, amen. You're, you're just you're just going down my alley, and I'm just encouraging all the ministers. Amen. You're, you're preaching my message, amen. But just stay where you need to be and follow the trend of the Spirit and keep in, the, in, in that unity, in that harmony, and the church is going to be edified. Not when we go all over the place, but when we stay in that vein where God wants us to be. So I am blessed. I am encouraged tonight. Uh, the words that I have here for each of you as we're closing, you know, we saw hell on steroids. That's the only way I could, I could tell you. We saw hell on steroids. Amen. <laughs> but God is able. Can I get a witness, somebody? God is able. God had more steroids than what hell was throwing at us. Amen. He just has the blood of Jesus Christ. And so from the depths of my heart and from my wife, and for myself, I just want to say that God has kept each and every one of you. I was bragging on our ministers today and our leadership team. And I said, my God, we, we, we've got the best leaders. We've got the best ministers. Amen. All of you, I'm so proud of you. And I said, it's not because they're great preachers. I said, not that because they're great teachers, which they are. But I said, these are men, a man and woman that, that are, are living on their knees. And when they get up off their knees, things are going to happen. And that's what makes the difference. Amen. So uh, uh, we, we, are, we are so blessed to have each and every one of you. And I was just praying for all of you today, particularly the ministers, you'll hear me say more on Sunday, but, but you've stood the test of time. You stood the test of time. <laughs> and, and what Elder, uh, Minister Plummer preached on tonight, amen. We're going into 2022. There'll be another battle, but you know what? You're going to survive that other battle. Amen. Because the battle that you have, there's still another battle coming. But God has given you the power. And you know what? You're going to be even greater and more successful. And I'm so thankful for each and every one of you. To all of the saints that are here. Uh, I, I know we've all been through different things through the week, but throughout, throughout the year. But this morning, I called somebody and they said, I don't even know why you call me. I said, well, I don't usually call you. I don't even talk to you that much. But, but I, I want you to understand what we went through, what I went through, the testimony that I was able to share with them. They, they were just crying because they were going through such an incredible thing. And I want to tell the church, everything that you've gone through from work, from church, from family to financial or whatever it is that you've gone through, through sickness, amen, it wasn't just for you, but that is the greatest testimony that you're going to see released when you speak it into other people's lives. Look what the Lord has done. Amen. Uh, Mr. Plummer, you could probably minister for me on Sunday morning. You <laughs> already went right down my alley. So I just want to say thanks be to God to each and every one of you. And I'm standing here only because he made a way. Let's put our hands together one more time for what was said tonight. I mean, sometimes we're tasked, we say, what do we say? And I said, there's really nothing more to add. When the word Amen. of God speaks, it speaks. And I'm so proud to be a part Amen. of this church for each and every one of you. And as we continue to pray, Amen. Let's pray for our leaders. Amen. Thank you, Bishop Simpson, for standing the test of time. Amen. 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 Bishop Simpson, none of us would be here today. I mean, none Amen. Of us. Amen. None of us. I came and I was only 19. Amen. And if I had to do it all over again, I would do it all over again to the glory and to the right. honor of God. Uh, so Bishop Simpson, I just want to say thank you from the depths of our hearts. 
Amen. Uh, God's going to bless what you have labored and what you've planted. Amen. Someone else will, will water, but God's going to get the increase. And, and that's what it's all about. I saw some of the younger saints that just got baptized this year that was on tonight. May God bless you. <laughs> Amen. As you cross over into 2022. And I want to encourage you uh, that are youngly converted and, and in the gospel, you have some of the best saints and some of the strongest saints, let me tell you. Amen. They're going to be to help you to get through whatever you need to get through in life. Amen. God has planned you here for a reason. Your talents and your abilities, everyone, you're not here by accident, but you're here because of the glory of God. Somebody testified tonight. Have you seen my servant? Have you seen my church? Amen. But God has brought us through for that. I'm forever grateful. God bless you tonight. I think I have a little clip from um, Elder um, um, over here, Alan Todd. Hopefully, I'll, you'll play a little bit better sound tonight as we move into 2022. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year, everybody. Amen. Um, as we move into 2022. Amen. We just close that offer. Uh, as we move into to 2022, as we go into uh, January, we go into a period of prayer and fasting and consecration. And I know God is going to do great exploits. Uh, amen. Let's start out that way. We have made a schedule. I just wanted a, a rebuttal from the ministers that was on tonight and our elders. If you could just give me that rebuttal so that we can get it out to the saints tomorrow. And we look forward to a wonderful month of prayer and fasting. Um, Pastor Alan Todd, I'm going to just put you on and let him uh, describe it to you. This is going to be coming across to all of us nationally. Amen. So um, may God continue to bless each and every one of us. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, maybe. Praise the Lord. I'm Overseer Alan Todd. I trust that this greeting will find you in the best of health as we close out 2021. Uh, on behalf of Bishop D.W. Thompson, the executive board, and our council of pastors, we extend greetings and season's greetings to all of you and pray that not only will we end strong, but we will begin strong in the year 2022. I uh, wanted to extend this notice to everyone just to inform you of the plans and uh, the theme for 2022, our national consecration, and our general theme for uh, the new year. Uh, the theme for 2022 is possessing and displaying mm -hmm. the heart of God. This is taken from 1 Chronicles chapter 14, 29, uh, verses 13 to 15. We are extending our national consecration this year for four weeks. Generally, it is a two-week consecration. We do know that some churches do the full month, uh, but this year nationally across the board, we'll be hosting a, a four-week consecration. And, and so our themes are broken up. We've segmented them. And so for week one, it is preparing for prayer and consecration. That will begin on January the 3rd through to the 9th. Uh, week number two, it's pursuing the heart of God, January the 10th through to the 16th. Week three is God's love is more than enough. That is from January the 17th to the 23rd. And then finally, week four, maintaining a pure heart. That is from January the 24th oh, through to the 31st. Uh, this year, we're going to be having two national days of prayer, January the 8th and the 29th. Uh, more information will follow with regards to the time uh, of those services, but we want to at least have everyone uh, aware of those two days, and we're going to be asking that everyone do as best as they can to um, announce this information, uh, send it out across your networks and your platforms so that as many people in our fellowship can participate in those days of fasting and prayer. So once again, on behalf of Bishop D.W. Thompson, the National Executive Board, and our Council of Pastors, we extend greetings to everyone and pray for a successful close of 2021 and an awesome kickoff to 2022. The Lord bless you. Amen. We thank the Lord. So we have an exciting month that's coming up. Uh, we do have the whole month all charted out. Uh, so you'll see that in your inbox over the next day or two as we kick off with general fasting in the first week and uh, 
We continue to fast for the entire month through to be led by the ladies, the men's and the youth. Uh, but next week, Saturday, and 9 to 11 will be your national prayer. And of course, uh, this week we'll start our general fasting from, I believe it is from Monday is when it starts. Amen. So God bless you. Um, a Sunday, uh, we are in the sanctuary Sunday uh, morning and Sunday evening will be your last fellowship night. Amen. Uh, I don't think we're going to be getting every Sunday night off, uh, but uh, just, just, just during this period with everything's happening, amen, uh, you get another fellowship night this Sunday. And then let's let's put our hands to the plow. We've got an incredible, and I think we've got an exciting year ahead of us. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what God has done. Amen. Uh, if they, somebody mentioned about the COVID, amen, it looks like uh, devil's after me too. So uh, I, I came down with COVID too uh, from last week. I wasn't in the sanctuary. Uh, so everybody's safe. It was in the middle of the week last week. Uh, my isolation is over, I believe, tonight. Uh, so I'll be good to go tomorrow no symptoms. Uh, so I thank the Lord for that. Did have a sore throat, but uh, everybody, I, I contacted the person who I was with on Monday, I think last week or Tuesday, just let them know and they seem to be fine. So we thank the Lord before I came on tonight. I got a text from someone else that I got COVID. I know like four other people, five people around me that, that uh, just got tested this week and they all coming down with COVID. So um, it, it, is, it is real. It is out there. Amen. Let's just pray that God continue to cover us. Amen. And, uh, and I know he's going to cover us with, with, with his blood and it's going to be some wonderful and incredible testimony. So God bless each and every one of you. We're going to stay a little bit online for those of you who want to wish Happy New Year to everyone. I think Mr. Walters uh, wanted to say something just before we uh, dismiss. Amen. And once again, God bless each and every one of you. Amen. And thanks for your prayers. Amen. Over the last coming years on behalf of my wife and myself. Thank you to all our ministers, our leaders, everyone that played such an important and integral part and really stepped up to the plate today, this year. There's no way we would have been here. And just to be able to, to, be able to share the testimony uh, 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 to others today and to, to be able to help them get through what they're going through, uh, I, want, I lift my hats off to each and every one of you. To God be the glory great things he have done. Elder Walters, in Jesus' name, go ahead, sir. Blessing. Happy New Year. Uh, just, just a part of one, our benediction. I just want to do this tune as we go into our benediction. It's for all of us. Just three times, and then um, Pastor can follow up with benediction. Say, Lord, what is say thank you and I'm so proud of our leadership team I really am proud of them and really proud of all of you and I, I don't want that to get missed so thankful and grateful to God 
to have all of you working on this side of the vineyard. God bless you. God bless you. God Amen. bless you. And now may the abiding grace, grace. Of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, love of God the Father, full fellowship, Holy Spirit and Comforter, rest, remain, and abide with us all until Jesus come again. Amen. Amen. There'll be no prayer meeting tomorrow morning, but you're welcome to pray. Amen. You're welcome to pray. God bless each and every one of you.